This week on Motorhead Garage, Bailey Built is back with even more customized Ford Broncos to show off. And later on, John learns a new way to safely mount old tires. Next on Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting. These things are awesome. Hey, welcome to Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting. From 1966 to 1977, Ford produced one of their most iconic vehicles ever, the first generation Ford Bronco. And the Bailey Bill Company has started at, as a cottage industry at home, as a hobby. I got Gordon Bailey here. You guys have built this into a full-scale company, yep. building parts to augment the coolness of these vehicles, especially this one. Very nice truck. You guys have added a roll cage to this thing that is really neat. Tell me about it. It's a standard family cage. We have it designed where it's got a halo set up where if you're wheeling in the woods, you don't get hung up in the trees. And the dimensions of the roll cage fit the Bronco very tightly inside, so you have the most amount of ergonomical room inside whenever the cage is installed. And the front legs are kicked forward, so even guys with great big feet can get their feet in and out of the door without having any issues. And those dimensions also mean you don't have to hack the thing out to put the roll, the roll cage in, correct? The only modification you have to do is to move the e-brake inboard and then rebolt it to the bottom of the dash. It's fantastic and adds a great element of safety. Some of you are going to take the family to great ice cream in this thing is great, but if you're going to hit the trail, it's always good to have a little bit of, uh, right. little bit of extra safety. Right. As cool and classy as this thing is, it just drips John Gardner all over it. It's great. <laughs> I'm more of the knuckle dragon crazy wheeler guy, and the pine monkey behind me is a total beast that you guys built from scratch. we got to check it out, and you got to tell me about it. I'll be more than happy to. Well, Gordon, we're walking up here in your masterwork, and the first thing I could tell you I noticed is the fact that this thing seems to have way more steering angle in it than a stock Bronco would have. Yes, yes, this has 43 degrees of steering in it. We do 43 degrees because that's a maximum that RCV axles will turn. So when you add wheelbase to a truck, we always add steering to keep them very nimble on the trail because you add wheelbase and your steering circle gets huge. Well, sure, of all the crawling and stuff you guys do, you need to be able to nip, be nimble around the giant yeah. boulders, right? Yeah. The other thing I noticed walking head on to this thing is it seems way narrower than stock, the whole thing. The outside of the body has been narrowed five inches. The inside is full width. The owner of the truck is, is a larger fellow, so we wanted to give him as much creature comfort room inside and not feel crowded, and also gain all of the clearance benefits of the narrowed body. So we narrowed the outside of the body five inches. I'm a motor and transmission guy. You got these big, <laughs> you got these big axles under here, the big high nine axles. What is turning these things? I'm dying to see under here. The, um, the power plant in it is a um, 408 stroker from Blueprint Engines. It came dynoed with the fast fuel injection on it and the distributor in it. It's mated to a Bowtie Overdrive 700R4 transmission. Nice. To a 4.3 Atlas transfer case. And that all feeds into 488 gears that are in the uh, true high nines and the differentials. So it's got a nice 60. Yeah, this is the this is the all-star team of parts that have been assembled it is. here, man. When, when you're going to build one, build it with the hardcore parts and, and build them the right way, and the owner doesn't have to worry about breakage long term. Well, the, the things that stand out to me are like detail things, and there's this cool offset stripe that's been painted all the way down <laughs> the vehicle. Now, not only does it carry just under the hood. You've actually painted the cooler top with this thing oh, too, yeah. man. <laughs> you know, you gotta have fun with these yeah. things when you're doing them. Well, it's cool because obviously this thing's built to go out and do hardcore wheeling and be used, and still the level of attention and detail here is just wild. It, it's been fun. We actually put the stripe in the hood where Frampton, when you're sitting in the seat, optically the stripe lines up with the differential. So if, as you're on a trail and the big rocks, if the stripe misses the big rocks, so do the differential. It's all about function, man. Oh yeah, it's, it's one of those, it's like nobody knows little details like that until they're told to them, so. Because you do a lot of crawling and stuff with this, what are we looking at for gear ratios in the axles? The gear ratios are 488s, and they're both in true high nines. Um, it gives you good control with the 430 horsepower that the engine puts out. You can go from doing rooster tails to spinning one lug on the tires if you want that kind of control. This truck will give you that. I'll tell you what, it's an incredible range that you offer, from your bumpers to the roll bars, the roll bar that we saw bolted into the 77, and to complete full, and I'm talking full-on custom builds here. Where could people go to learn more about Bailey Built and find out exactly what you guys are capable of? We have a website that's baileybuilt.com. It's simply just that. The, on the website, it doesn't usually cover the builds since they're not a point-and-click kind of an item. We do everything from stock, if you want something just plain Jane as factory built it, we can do that up to this caliber of build. 
Well, Gordon, thanks so much for coming in. This thing is awesome. We're going to be back with more Motorhead Garage after this, and I'm going to go drive over a building or something in this thing. <laughs>
The company claims this is going to help you reduce emissions, make more horsepower, and be more efficient going down the road. Managing the air into the engine helps to atomize the fuel, and that's where the benefits of the product come from. What's interesting is it's a very easy install. Basically, you have your air intake. This happens to be the top of an air box off of a Ford pickup truck, and this unit would slide in, basically secures itself inside your intake tract, and that's pretty much how easy the install is. Very simple, you can do it with some hand tools at home. There are multiple sizes and diameters for this piece because different gasoline burning and diesel engines all have different size intake tracks. Cars and trucks, there's really no engine that this is not designed to be used on. You can go to the website at economax.com to learn a whole bunch more. And when you're there, all the information and some installation tips will be there as well as their blog. Hit them on the web at economax.com. That's E-C-O-N-O-M-A-X-X.com. Well, if you have a carbureted engine, it probably looks like this with the air cleaner. As a matter of fact, the wing nut's even missing. You go to take the nut off, what's going to happen? You're going to drop it. If you're lucky, it won't go inside the carburetor. Now, quick latch, not the case, much better. You can see it right here. It's actually a little spring lock system that's going to go on a stud right here. And what it does with the spring lock, if you push it on and off, it just locks and unlocks the spring lock. Now, that's going to secure the air cleaner in. It's just as easy to install. You can see I have an air cleaner right here that we're going to put on this one. And the air cleaner, what you want to do is you want to take the air cleaner and you want to put a three-quarter hole in the top here. Now, you can do that with a hole saw or you can do it with a step bit. But you put the hole in and it's just as easy as putting this quick latch in there. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go ahead and thread it on there. Get you a little pair of pliers and secure that on there. Once that thread's on there, not only does it look good, it's actually real functional. You'll see it right there on the top. Now, you're either going to have a quarter inch or a 516 stud. Just go ahead and remove the one you have out of there. And quick latch mini latch provides the actual stud itself. So we'll take this one out. You got a 516. We got a quarter inch on ours, so we're just going to put it down in there. Screw it down. And you have an option here to make a couple of different adjustments and fine adjustments. Then what you do is just take the latch, pop it on. It's that easy. If you want to take it off, one click, it pops right off. Now you can put it down a little tighter, secure it. Everything's in good shape. On, off, just that easy. Now, not only does it look good, it secures it, and it's definitely the cherry on the top. Now backing up a pickup truck down a windy driveway is hard enough. The evidence is in my bumper. Imagine a ginormous motorhome and trying to back it up with well, rear view safety. No worries with this system. Brian, it looks complete. What you got? Absolutely not. You know, most new motorhomes, motor coaches come with a backup camera, but if you don't have a brand new coach, this is a great solution to upgrade your coach to have that uh, peace of mind backing up. And Rearview Safety has done a nice job with this kit. Fully complete. Um, basically, it starts with a you know complete wiring harness that comes with the kit. It includes backup sensors. These are the sensors that you mount in the back that'll give you a sense of how close or far away you are from stuff. The camera itself is a very nice unit. Uh, it actually it does have night vision as well, so it'll work 24 hours a day depending on you know what uh, the conditions are. You have a, the control unit here as well as the control unit that mounts up front. This is what's going to get your signal to their nice screen right here. Now this screen can be mounted in your dash or they actually offer a dash mount. If you don't want to cut a hole in your RV's dashboard, you can go uh, kind of on top of the dash with it. And John, like you said, you're making a big investment in a, in a motor coach, in an RV, and you really want to protect it. You know what, this installation is just as simple. You can see it gives you all the wire connectors here, the different inputs and outputs, and what I like, the wire harness itself. Camera one, camera two, ground, power. I mean, it's really simple to hook up. Everything's right here, it's a complete package. The rubber grommets, the fuses, it's protected, really nice. Just visit them on their website. Go ahead and get one for your motorhome so you can back safely. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage right after this break. Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Blasting coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Magic Creeper, ready, rain or shine. Well, pretty much everybody is familiar with the Magic Creeper's ability to help you get in and out from under a vehicle very easily. Its ability to get rolled up and stored. Its ability to resist oil, water and other fluids. Some people may not be aware of the Magic Creeper's great cargo handling properties and ability. Now we have this pickup truck here, which happens to contain a couple of wheels and tires. My buddy got a little overzealous at the burnout contest last weekend in his new Camaro, burned those babies right to the cords. Since I'm the guy with the truck, I had to go to the wheel and tire shop to pick up his new newly mounted tires. 
Now in the past, it would have meant I heaved all that stuff onto the tailgate, rolled it into the bed, tried to position it where I wanted it. Now, all I gotta do is put my Magic Creeper in the bed, put whatever cargo I want on it, and it slides in and out as easily as you can imagine. Watch this. This is probably 100 plus pounds of wheels and tires here. I can roll it right back to me, take the load off, put it on the ground, and when it's time to load it back up again, it's the reverse process. I unroll my Magic Creeper in about two seconds, put the load down there, and then I go ahead and push it in, one-handed, close the tailgate, and I'm headed back home to do it. I'm saving my back, I'm saving trips in and out of the gate of the truck, and the best part is the Magic Creeper and the fabric it's made out of is tough as much as it is slippery. So just because you get a couple wheels and tires on it, all you're gonna do is wipe it off, roll it up, put it back behind the seat of your vehicle, and it's gonna be used for whatever you need it for next. Whether you're stopping on the side of the road, whether you're moving more stuff down the road, or whether you just need to get under to change the oil. Magic Creeper's awesome. Check it out. Time now for Project 18.8 with Steve Flanders. Project 18.8 continues. Now I see some wood down here, Steve. A woodworker, I am not. I probably couldn't even build a birdhouse. Which is good, because with these kits, you don't have to be a woodworker. Maybe a little prep, that's about it, but they come pre-finished, it's furniture grade, and pre-channeled. Also, we're dealing with a pre-drilled set, so we're way ahead of the game. Tell me, I know you got involved with a little prep earlier. Talk to me about that. Yep, you guys gave me an awesome lesson. I mean, it comes right out, maybe a couple mill marks, varnish it like that. You can put some 220 on it, 320, 400, end up with a fine product, and it's just up to the varnish. Right, this is oak, so we've chosen a golden oak color. You can see one of these we already stained, one of these we left. Um, a lot of times a guy will take an automotive clear coat and want to get really shiny on here. We've just chosen a sort of uh, standard varnish. You can see that shine coming up. We're going to finish this whole board. But also, got your stain over here, and you can see what we're going to do here. Kind of get a little stain on here, wipe that on. We'll do the whole board. You kind of want to move in one continuous motion end to end like that. Let that sit about 10, 15 minutes. Wipe the extra off. You're good to go. This board's going to look like this board. This board is going to look like a million bucks. Yeah, we'll get this wrapped up and get it installed. Absolutely. Motorhead Garage, presented by Dustless Blasting, is being brought to you by Hunter Engineering, state of the art wheel aligners and wheel alignment machines. B&M Racing and Performance, quality performance products that work. Stage 8, the world's best locking fastener. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Well, welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Blasting. Now, if you ever put a tire on, you're going to do it with a machine or even at home. One thing you don't want to do is tear the bead. I mean, this is just ruined right here. Well, Van Brown, come on in here from Brown Ox Ventures. You got a product that's gonna get me to put this old tire on and you're gonna save that bead. Tell me a little bit about it. A yeah, bull snot is based off of super high molecular weight polymers and basically it lowers the friction between the tire and the wheel to zero. So when you mount the tire, you don't get any of the uh, damage like you see here. Uh, but also it's designed for demounting tires. So when, even when you're taking it off and you wanna retread the tires, which is a pretty large market, uh, basically, when you look, go on the interstates, all those trucks, they have, they're running retreads as far as the truck or transfer trucks. When you demount them, if you mess up the bead like you did here, you just lost 54 to $58. And I got one customer that does $3 million a year. That's a lot of money. Uh, the other thing it doesn't do, it doesn't seal the tire to the wheel like you see here. Right. That is a major issue. You would have to clean this wheel up. And what actually des destroyed this bead is it sealed? Exactly. Now, on your bottle, your instructions, I like that. Now, we're just doing this for demo purposes, but the first thing you want to do is go back and clean your rim, make sure that it's spotless, and make sure your tire bead's not like that. It's not going to seed either way. But you know, that's a good example right here. Man, why don't you give me a hand? Let's see how this stuff really works. If you take it and we'll put some on, we'll put some on both sides. We'll put it on the back and the front. I mean, that's normally what you would do, correct? That is correct. Let me aim it this way. And so you're just painting a coat around the tire. I am, and you can see there's, it, it's so slick and so snotty, that consistency is what actually 
helps uh, get the bead all the way around, and so it'll actually mount a whole lot easier. Yeah, now I've used tire soap or paste before. This is not a soap or paste. No, it's tire soaps, they are, that's all you're doing is basically reducing the friction uh, or surface tension with a soap, and soaps irritate your eyes, irritate your skin, and with bull snot, uh, it's actually providing real slickness. And, the, the, and if you used a petroleum distillant, well, they're actually flammable. All so right. that's a real big issue. All right, well, let's see what we got here. We're gonna go ahead and just see how easy this one mounts. Now, granted, it's been on and off a couple times, and that's a good point you made. I mean, you might just wanna reuse the tire, and if you're reusing the tire, you're gonna tear the bead over and over again. Now's the time to put it on there. Boy, that popped right on there like nothing. I mean, that, that really was slick and nice. I mean, that's, you know we have an old tire. I mean, it's torn. That makes it even harder to put on there, you know? Why would I want to use this in, in, I mean, shops? This is one of their biggest probability tires. I mean, you put them in a lot of shop situations? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, the product's used in a bunch of different places. Uh, the, the big reason you're going to use this is air pressure. Right. When you, when you start to seat the tires, that's where people get injured. Uh, for you talking larger tires, like the, the truck, large truck tires, anywhere from 15 to 20 people a year get killed from inflating those. Right, and, just explosion alone. And because bull snot seats so easily, you don't have to use cheater bands. So you don't have to use a high pressure air. Uh, and so they, they see savings anywhere from 15 to 40%. One customer claims 40 and it's, that's, that's a lot of money when you talk about all the Not that I've food. never done that. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, where can we find it? Where can we go get it so everybody can use it? Well, we'll be at SEMA, so everybody can come see us at SEMA. Uh, and we also, you can look, get us on our website, www.brownots.com. Uh, and then we're also looking for distributors. So if you're a distributor and you're interested in, in becoming a distributor for Bullsnot, give me a call. All right, well, we're out of time for this week, folks. But if you want to get a product into Motorhead Garage or on TV, just email Jeff at masterstv.com. Well, we'll see you next week for more Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Blasting.